subject of the school always wrong. The red cross. In human history, one day, God set up the Pope and said, My son, go and take it yourself. So Calvary's cross became God's purpose. And sin was judged. And heaven called out and said, All have sinned. And the son said, Yes, Father. Fallen short of the glory of God. The son said, Yes. And the wages of sin is death. The son said, Yes. And then the son said, I take it myself. And he left. And then he came back to me. Took our sin. He went in. Defeated sin and death by the power of that one single holy life that totally belonged to God. That was the power of sin. Totally belonged to God. He arose. Out of sin and death, he arose. And he now says, Can I take up my life? Can I take up my life? This is the thought. Behold, I stand and I. If any man opens the door, he will come. But it's not us. Can I, the Lord Jesus Christ, who gave my life for you and who now lives forevermore, can I come and live inside you? Will you say, no, Lord Jesus, there's a big cathedral my great grandfather made. He fixed the belfry and he laid the foundation stone. He funded most of it. You live there. It's too inconvenient and embarrassing to have you living in me when I'm doing my things. You see that? Or will you say, come into my heart, Lord Jesus. My house, my body, my life, all the years that are a bit of Maybe 20, maybe 30, maybe 40, maybe 5. They are available for you. When you say, come into my heart, Lord Jesus, take up your life. Did you hear? Take up your life in me. In this old house says, pay back all the heroes. It's a old house of recompense, compensation of order. What do you want? All the waste of my life. It is like you burning up your house and going to the insurance company and say, my house burnt up. Can you pay? Why did you burn your house? Because the timber was all rotting and the front door was bad and foundation was cracked. Everything was wrong. So I thought I'll burn my house and the insurance company will pay. You get insurance companies in Sri Lanka like that. Or else your car is corroding in the front and in the back and your friend's car is also corroding and you had an accident and you pay the same accident. The Lord Jesus Christ says, come to this point. I will settle all your news. All things that went wrong. I'll give you a new reason for it. Every gift that is locked to you and you waste it, I'll give it back to you. Come, I'll pay the promise. You will say, what law is that? You are saying it right. That is not law. That is grace. Tell your neighbor, that is not law. That is grace. Our piety couldn't do it. Our prayers couldn't do it. Our own sense of righteousness actually worked against it. So we have these little schemes of righteousness. We sin, we say it a little, and we feel okay. We will ask them, God forgive me, God forgive me. I will not do it again. Forgive me. Why? I will not do it again. So what's the basis of our forgiveness? I will not do it again. Have you gone and done it again? Have you gone and done it again? Yes, sister. So the basis of our forgiveness can't be our confession. We confess and we go and do the same thing. The basis of our forgiveness is His grace. There's an abundance of His grace and the gift of His righteousness. Will you say abundance of His grace and the gift of His righteousness? Do you think there is a good judgment? Do you think there is a court house you should come? 
Did you get fear out of you about this letter? He will make with that as my needs a return of 25 years of his life. An opportunity to save it from him. And God Almighty gives it. He gives it with his counsel, with his wonder, with his mighty power, with his father in supervising your marriage, your finances, how you deal with your children, setting right what has gone wrong, teaching you to put right the wrongs rather than right the wrong stuff. That is the reason. Let's pray and say, let me understand this. Let me see this. And God says, be careful. This is also be careful to feel a little bit. Be merciful. By fear, we don't want anyone to miss this. Good of By fear, we don't want anyone to miss this. Good of if there's a student who is capable and playing the fool, the teacher will say, I fear that you might miss your distinction. Don't play the fool. We also fear because people may miss it. Our loved ones may miss this one fool. We will continue to live in bitterness, pain, Harassing each other, harming each other, complaining, bitterly beating. That's the way. The grace of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Grace of God, Lord Jesus Christ. So no mind saying, Oh God, forgive me. I'll never do it again. We fail with our words. It's not our sorrow. It's His grace. And His gift of Righteous. Let's pray and ask the Lord to come into the hearts and the worship. And God says, Will you persuade people with me? Will you appeal to others with me? Knowing therefore all is possible. And our loved ones, friends, relatives may miss this wonderful opportunity. Be persuaded. We give our life. We give our time.